Here we go. Last one. All right, how to find the solutions of the equation given 4x squared equals negative x plus 3. So the first thing, again, what I want to do is I need to get my, here's my quadratic term, and now I need to get my linear term and my constant term all on the same side and have them equal 0. Therefore, that's the kind of the same thing as having your y equal 0, and I can find my x-intercept by factoring. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add an x to both sides, and I'm going to subtract a 3 to both sides. Therefore, that's going to cancel out and give me 0. So therefore, I will now obtain 4x squared equals, I'm sorry, 4x squared plus x minus 3 equals 0. Um, now, this problem, I'm actually going to show you guys two different ways how to um, do it. First thing we're going to do, though, is we're going to find out a times c. a times c is now going to be, actually, let's determine what our a and c, b and c are first. Here, I have a, a, a 4 is in front of my quadratic term, so my a is going to equal 4. B is equal to 1, but there's nothing, it seems like there's no number in front, so we always remember that 1 can always be put in front of there, and my constant term is a negative 3. <clears throat> so now let's go and do our A times C and B. Okay, so we look at A times C, we have 4 times negative 3 has become a negative 12, and our B is 1. So I look at it, what are my factors of 12? That multiply to give me negative 12, but add give me 1. That is just going to be a positive 4 and a negative 3. All right, so I'm going to show you guys now this how to do this two different ways. OK. Um. <laughs> Is you taking a video? Oh, OK. Video. Uh, this isn't a race video. Keep the video. Keep the video. You can edit out. Right? So um, now what we're going to go ahead and do is I'll go back to the previous method that I showed you guys. A equals 4, B equals um, 1, C equals negative 3. Now all I'm simply going to do is you're going to take your A term and factor it into two different binomials. 4x squared, 4x squared. Then you take the two factors you found, plus 4, and plus a negative 3, which would just be minus 3. Now, all you do is you factor out your common terms. Well, here I can factor out a 4, right? So I get x squared plus 1 times 4x squared minus 3. Okay? And then, since the 4 is not there, oh, not x squared. So, they're not x squared. You're just taking what you're, you're taking your a term, but you remember, you want to have the x's that are going to give you x squared. Um, and then you take out your 4, since that's there. Now I can just have, or here's my 2 binomial, and this, remember, always equals 0. Now let me show you one more other method to obtain this binomial. You could also take these two letters, make a nice little box. OK? And if I take my original a term, which is 4x squared, and I take my c term, which is a negative 3, and I take my two, my two factor forms, which are 4 and negative 3. Now, what I want to do is I need to determine, well, what two terms can give me the area of this box? And you could say, well, it could be 2x and 2x. However, if the width of this box is 2x, um, 2x times what gives you negative 3? And is that going to be a whole number? No. So therefore, you can't have 2x as the width here. So I can't use the factors of 2 and 2. I'm going to have to use the factors of 4 and 1. And similarly with 2, you can't have 4 over here because if this the width is 4 here, then you're going to have, again, another fraction to make the height here um, to get negative 3. So I'm going to choose x and 4x. Then again, x times what? Using 4x squared would be 4x. x times what? Negative 3. 4x times that? Um, 4x times what gives you 4x, and that'd be plus 1. So therefore, my factors are now x plus 1 and 4x minus 3, which again are x plus 1 and 4x minus 3, which is the exact same thing as what we did before. So whatever method might make sense to you in your head, use that one. So therefore, let's go and solve this. So I have x plus 1 equals 0, 4x minus 3 equals 0. 
minus one on both sides, x equals negative one. Um, add three, divide by four, x equals three fourths. Okay, so that's how you find the solutions of the equation.